Hey guys, RTT back here for another video. Guys, today we have an unboxing of a call holder for the Galaxy Fold 3. This also can be used for the Surface Duo. It is a very useful one for a lot of different devices, honestly. It can also be used for iPads, like it shows on the box. So, very, very cool. I'm going to go ahead and leave a link down below in the description to this actual call holder if you want to go ahead and pick it up for yourself. But anyway, though, let's go ahead and take this out and take a look at what it's looking like. So we have first off, which is the suction cup type of angle right there. We also have what looks like another mounting mechanism. And then we have the big daddy right here. We also have a plate. Interesting. But we have the big one right here, which, of course, is the main attraction. So looks like these all come in a little plastic bags. Interesting indeed. Um, I might have to look up the instructions on this one because I'm not sure how everything goes together. Um, it looks like we just got a simple push mechanism. Let's say. All right, let me look up the, let me see what the instructions said. Actually, wait, are there any instructions? I just realized I don't think there's going to be any instructions. Um, all right. So the inner, this is what it says. The inner diagram of the angle can be adjusted uh, up or down for different plate thicknesses. And yeah, that's actually all it says. <laughs> all right, so let me see if I go ahead and move this out. Oh, I see, okay. There we go, so just like that, you can move it. So if you want to, for example, put in a Surface Duo, this one right here, you go ahead and do this, and we can put this up. Bam, clamp that in, and then I'm guessing clamp it down, just like that. So now you have the phone holder for the Surface Duo. It will hold that just like that, no issue at all. That's actually really cool, okay. So very simple. I mean, I kind of expected it to be very simple, but it actually does work out very, very well. And fully extended here, because we can do that, and then go, let's see if I can actually go down here. There we go. That's going to be how you want to do it. Yeah. Which I don't really like that too much. I don't want to scratch the end of the display of this. But all right. So you lock that in like that. Push the lever down. Like that. And now you're there. That's secure. Okay. That is secure. Okay. So if you're going to put this in your car, you would have it like this. You can't do it horizontally because it's just not enough. Um actual screen to do it uh, you can't go down far enough so very interesting and again you do have different mount uh, mounting mechanisms you have this one right here which just goes ahead and go to your windshield and then this one right here actually goes to your air vent so interesting indeed uh tell me down below guys your thoughts and opinions and uh, are you gonna pick up this uh, for yourself i will definitely say i'm not sure my opinion on mounting you know, like phones this big in your car, personally speaking. I don't have an issue with it. I just don't like it too, too much. I just feel like this would be much more intrusive. I know some people have iPads that are actually mounted in their car. And I mean, I mean, it's cool and all. And obviously Tesla has their screen built in. But one of those things where I feel like, you know, I, I just would get scared it would break or something. You know, it would fall over or something, you know, would happen. So it's interesting but tell me down below your thoughts and opinions and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out